So it's based heavily on um, the church, one of the Church of England confession prayers, um, uh, and that, as a as a piece of uh, liturgy, it's one that I've always, I, I don't know, for some, something about that that prayer, the way it phrases things, the way it, the the things it, the themes it uh, goes into, has always captured me. I think, um, and, and um, yeah, I've always been. Whenever that one's come up at church, I've always been like, yes. It's, uh, it's that confession. <laughs> Not that you know the other bonds are bad, but uh, it's great, whatever. Um, and so yeah, there's a, a sort of developed into you know some lines you, you're you're seeing there are still lit, still from that original uh, original prayer, but um, yeah, quite a few of them have developed to to be expressed differently and saying the same things. Most merciful God, our Father. Confession is one of those things that some churches kind of do it almost by rote and maybe feel that it's got a bit stale. And so having a confession song can just kind of bring some life to confessing sin. But other churches never confess sin. And I think that's quite worrying because it almost gives the impression that sin doesn't exist or we don't do anything wrong. To sing confession, to make confession audible in that sense, uh, somehow makes it more tangible if it's an in inward confession where it's your thoughts um, it's a very different place than to to verbalize it outwardly I think um, we can take much more ownership when we audiate something I mean I, I confession I guess usually often towards the beginning of the service that you know um, a confession can be a, a good way to begin um, uh, as we as we come to God afresh uh, in a, in a week and after after our week, um, and uh, but I think also confession, you know, a great a great response actually to, to a talk or to um, uh, yeah to a sermon uh, can often be to confess if if that's you know if there's been something in that talk that's um, about us um, yeah the way we've you know our lives have not been following God's ways or. Or whatever. So I've often found the yeah, confessions coming in after after a talk um, can just be a really helpful response to whatever uh, what we've been hearing. The intro, uh, I'm just holding low octaves like this. It's a very spacious, very soft, um, minimal. Uh, and on the verse, generally through the song, I'm just playing chords um, two per bar. key with that is just really nice touch playing them really in time really accurately with all the notes together and um, and soft um, so that was the same through the link um, then back to the to the verse uh, on the chorus um, we added this nice seventh on the first chord the odd old pigeon Occasionally putting an arpeggio, maybe every four bars or eight bars. Um, went back to the intro, and this time I doubled the guitar um, as well as doing the low octaves. Um, okay, keeping the sustain pedal down all the time to give that nice open ringing resonance. Uh, verse, uh, sorry, yeah, verse two, um, I played more or less the same thing, but just added in um, a little figure um, on alternate bars like this. Same thing on the second half of that verse, except for it, it does it on C minor, that little figure. Quite nice these voicings when you have um, a sixth in the middle of a chord. We 
goes back to bark. Um, then, uh, yeah, it was the same. Um, just chords for the last chorus. Uh, oh, sorry, the, the, the bridge, the middle eight, had this little figure. twice and then when the bridge repeats um, I did that figure twice as often like this um, and it just fits over all the chords same thing just those uh, sixths again um, final chorus uh, same uh, just two chords per bar And then for the outro, I did the same as the second intro, which was the low octaves and the doubling that acoustic guitar part. So Merciful God went for capo three, and um, it just starts with that sort of drone on the E flat, so C shape, and this little pattern. Try something for the early verses, so it wasn't so full, which was just the, the high four strings. It's quite cool. So you and just then, didn't play the bottom two strings at all? Exactly, don't touch these two. And then the minors up there. Yeah, and then uh, pretty simple for the um, was it the choruses? Uh, sort of G. the bridge um, just added a bit more rhythm um. I'm trying to separate out the sort of bottom hits hitting the low strings and the upstroke just catching the high strings so you get that sort of For some reason we replaced the snare drum with another floor tom. That's just to get a really big <laughs> stick sound, but you could use <laughs> a normal snare drum. Well you could do it on your floor tom, could you? Uh, yeah, the only thing is you'll end up, if you go, you end up muting it. Um, so that was the idea. But, so there's a couple of ways of doing it. So the main beat is this. Um, So, um, simply, if we take away the floor tom, we're just playing one, two, three, four. Um, but then we just add the, the floor tom with the bass drum. So there's a bit of stick moving there, then moving back to here. Um, and yeah, doing the... Uh, rather than a and one, it's a 16th note, a one. And then in the bridge, we move over from the hat to the ride. So it's still the same thing. And then the only other thing is the chorus. There's, I think there's only one chorus, no two. Um, we have a double time bass drum, so it'll go one, two, three, four. So that's 
all there is to it. And just tell us what that is on the ride symbol. Um, this is um, a bath chain, which has been put together with a bit of masking tape, and it just sizzles a bit. Yeah. Great. Luckily it's another nice, simple one. So I've played a nice, low E flat for the intro. And then um, I did try for the link of some tenths, which is just that. That's nice. Yeah. And the rest of it was pretty simple, really. Chorus. Just really one note per bar. I never did anything more complicated than that, really, other than in the bridge, maybe two notes per chord. Really simple. You've got, obviously, you've got a low E flat there, haven't you? Yeah. What would you do if you were playing a four string? You'd play it an octave higher. <laughs> <laughs> and would it be all right? It sounded really good, yeah. Great. Love, 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 love